Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of 420 Grams here on NewsClick.in. We're a full house today. Renadi Singh is back in the house. Arjun Pandit is joining us from rainy Mumbai, and Webber Ve- Raghunandan is in studios. Firstly, Pandit, uh, how's the scene, man? How's Bombay? I hope things are okay, surviving. Sir, uh, my uh, room is close to the road, and uh, at about 9 a.m. there were cars and bikes on it. Now it's close to about 12:30 p.m., and I can see boats. And I can see people swimming, breast style, free stroke, sab chal raha hai. Anyone who maybe Olympic qualification type koi level hai? We might not see a Michael Phelps, we might see a Michael Tambe sometime. Never know. Okay, so we're here because yesterday was a big night of football. Obviously, the Women's World Cup final was on, but uh, we were a little bit sidetracked. Because India were also playing their first home game of the 2019 calendar year uh, at Ahmedabad against Tajikistan, the opening game of the Hero Intercontinental Cup 2019. Uh, it wasn't the result we expected. We went into the game fairly confident at, at home uh, under a new coach with a new set of players and seemingly some shape, uh, the team taking some sort of shape. We were expecting a positive result against Tajikistan. As it turned out, 4 2. India went down, four goals in the second half, blew a two-goal advantage. Uh, opening comments from you guys, starting with you, Pandit, what do you make of the game? What do you make of Ahmedabad, the arena, all of that? Yeah, bro, before we get to the game, because game ki to, of course, uh, that will be the focus of our show, uh, I honestly enjoyed this entire stadium, yeah, because uh, I, for one, have always been championing the cause of uh, small stadiums in football. Uh, you know, where the supporter group is close to the ground and also because, you know, given the popularity of the game in this country, we are not always going to be filling in big stadiums. So, this always looked like, you know, a lot of people have come in, the atmosphere is there. And we guys, you know, Hamara, we have that bias because we've grown up watching games at Ambedkar Stadium. So, we know exactly how it feels and which is why I feel this venue should be persisted with. Because agar aapne, if you remember with Ambedkar also, it was only when India started winning regularly, it was Nehru Cups that the crowd started going up and, you know, and then it became like an atmosphere, a festival of sorts. I remember one of those Nehru Cups had jumped the gate in the final, no ticket didn't get the ticket. And the gate was going up because you know where you play, you play, you So, you know, someone else went there and went there. I feel the same can be done with this ground, yeah. You know, and uh, the ground looks very good to play on. The dimensions of the ground look very good to play on. In fact, that looks better than what is a maker as well. It looks a little more international quality. And uh, so, yeah, I, I just hope the AFF persists with this, man. Because uh, this can really help us in a long way. You need that fortress, man. I'm sorry, Bengaluru or uh, Calcutta or Mumbai, they are not your fortresses so far, what you see. This can be made into a fortress. I mean, I would be delighted if we were to make Ambedkar the fortress again. That would be ideal. Yeah, <laughs> but I guess both didn't okay. Uh, anyway, so stadium apart, uh, hopefully, there will be more such options and I think, uh, so this guy, Udit Shet at Trans Stadia has also been at it for a, for quite a while. He's been laga hua hai and he's put together, it's a privately owned stadium, this venue. Multi-purpose stadium with retractable stands. They've used basically technology to make sure that it's, uh, you get, I guess, maximum bang for your buck out of it, maximum utilization. And yet the playing surface looks pretty tight, pretty good, pretty well maintained. Uh, good enough for sort of international games to happen on. Uh, also, the look I've and feel of this. The look and feel of the stadium is also quite nice. It seems very modern and sort of up there in terms of uh, this the kind yeah, of football. television on, on television. Looking good. The lights were looking good. Yeah. Uh, like a lot of times, you know, I feel we falter on television. Why it doesn't look half as good is because lights at the stadium don't match up to what your broadcast quality should be. This time, the lights were playing a part. And uh, I remember when I went for Kerala Blasters, the, the dressing rooms, everything was really good. Uh, under jacket dressing rooms, there's the same venue which has Pro Kabaddi, uh, like about 10 yards away. They do Pro Kabaddi there as well. So, what you were saying, that retractable stadium, you know, and get the most out of the money put into it and have the maximum out of it, uh, is good. It sort of sets up a model for clubs as well, because clubs in India don't own their own grounds at the moment. We know that there are a couple, Bangalore, for example, 
Gokulam, Ch Chennai. They're all trying to get into the act, find the land to build a stadium and then maintain their own venue because at least it gives the club some sort of something to hold on to, some sort of foundation from which to uh, grow a community a structure out of. So yeah, let's hope these guys keep at it. Um, getting to the game, man, what do you make of how India played and and uh, we'll, let's start with, in fact, we had Renedi on a little while earlier. So let's start with his initial assessment of how the game went and then we'll come out to you. Uh, for me, if you see the game, it was not a great game from India. We can play better. A lot of new guys, new coaches. In, of yes, in Thailand they have done well, but yesterday we were hoping that they will do it. It's a first match. We have to give it. We have to give time to those young players. But we really have to do. We got two good goals. Individual brilliance again from Sunil, Sunil Chetri. What a beautiful penalty kick! And the toe poke. Just in just in front of him, there were two defenders, and he still managed to toe poke and score such a beautiful goal. But then, other than that. The other young players, they have to pull off their socks. They have to play way better than what they did yesterday. And I'm sure they are young, good, talented players. It's just that they have to gel well. And this is where Venkatesh, uh, as an assistant, Indian assistant coach, who have seen uh, all those players for many years, I think he has to give the right information so that it helps the, the, the new coach. So we have to give time to the players and the coach, but they have to do it, you know, because people's memories are, are very, very, you know, you can, of course, they have done well. They have been people have been talking about, but after yesterday's match again, there will be a lot of pressure. Actually, exactly what you said, uh, Randy, where you said that they were dominating the ball and they had all the possession even in the first half. We can agree that Tajikistan were building a lot of the play and actually had a few chances also. So you think in that sort of situation, maybe putting someone a holding midfielder, someone with a slightly more as a shield in front of the defense, because that seemed to be a gap between the midfield and the defense. Where our boys were doing well going up, but not really doing much when it came to winning the ball back. And I, I think for, right from the first half, right from the first half, I think they were pressing quite high. If you see, we we got the penalty, we got the penalty through a counter attack. So we could see that you know we we were defending. We started pressing from from our midfield. So even if we win the ball, we still have a long way to go. So but we have to trust the coach. Like we have to still give a time, but. But the players, they have to gel as quickly as possible. Otherwise, it, it will be a, a problem. So, so let, let's see, you know, in the next match, if they can do better. And we, we have seen that the young defender and, and Adil Khan, their coach were trying. But, but I, I think they both uh, need to have a better match. So, so coach will, I'm sure coach have seen what, what, what those guys can, can do. And, and in the next match, they will, uh, the new, uh, I'm sure the, new, uh, the defenders like Sandhya Singhan will come in. So, uh, Arjun, basically game of two halves or did you, throughout the game, did you see Tajikistan, like what NED was saying, that Tajikistan had a lot of chances, controlled the ball and, well, they got the dividends later. Yeah, I kind of agree. It's not a game of two halves, man. Uh, I think uh, Tajikistan was dominating us on the ball from the word go, you know, and uh, as far as possession was concerned, as far as all the space that was being given to them, they were dragging the game out wide as much as possible. So, India was, of course, being opened up a lot more in the game. Uh, he's right, man. Uh, the, the first move that led to the Chetri goal, that was a good move to watch. A uh, good combination, as we see, between Mandar and uh, Chante. A lot of that combination going and getting that penalty for India. And Chetri, you know, that shows you uh, class, experience and where he is mentally as a player. That, you know, opening game of the competition, three minutes into the opening game. Three minutes, sir. Three minutes, my nerves are chai, jitna bhi khelio. Settle होने में थोड़ा time लगता है और यहाँ आपने आके वो chip डाल दिया है goalkeeper पता नहीं कहाँ गुड़गांव पहुँच गया वहाँ पे अंदर chip पे जरा हम you know going inside तो if you see Chetri's reaction after taking that penalty is like oh I hope pole पे ना लग जाए उसके बाद ये tap like that it went inside you know so that really set the tone and uh, and the coach would have been happy because uh, given that you used a very young team and I have a feeling this will be the young team going forward the first 15 minutes of the game is when we can really capitalize owing to that, you know, all that youth brings with it, which is a lot of pace, which is that, you know, that point to prove something, you know, that eagerness and that hurriedness. So that, that for us is a, in a good thing. And the second goal was great, man. I mean, that again shows you the space he's in, man. Uh, Dar and Kanti again combining well. 
along the left flank and uh, and surprising because on the right flank you had udanta saying the most experienced campaigner there and wahan se bhi thodi thodi delivery aa rahi thi but not as much as the combination of what's happening on the left and yeah i i thought the exact- I- I found this second goal to be a bit fortunate. Udanta put the ball in from the right, and he was looking very clearly for the run of Changte at the far post, mm. which he completely, completely mishit that cross. Hit it like six yards behind Changte. He had to, to change direction, go back, get the ball, and then try try and do something else. Mm, okay. And fortunately enough, we had players in the box on in that one situation, and he did he uh, they did well enough to manage to get the ball back in, and of course. Chetri bizarrely was left completely unmarked in the box. So uh, it was, yeah, it was bad defending, man. On both the sides, defenders. I think. On both sides, the defenders, I think, just didn't turn up. I mean, I, I don't want to be too harsh on young Narendra Gehlot, who's only 18, playing his first game for the senior national team. But there were clear moments when the communication, uh, the conversation, the positioning, the sort of. I don't know mental switched onness. All of it was gone. That's the hallmark of a team that hasn't played too much together, right? And uh, that will happen. And the, not not only have they played too much together, uh, a, a lot of them have not played much of international football. Yeah. Uh, Adil Khan is now three games old or four games old. Narendra Gehlot first game. Rahul Bheke two games old. Uh, Mandar Rao Desai, Desai I think one or two games old. Then your entire midfield, Amarjeet again two three games old. They held two games old. So, मतलब यार मतलब आपके पास double figures भी नहीं हैं in terms of experience as far as caps earned for the India team. Only Udanta and Chetri were the only two, and Gurpreet of course are the guys who have gone on to get uh, you know a sizable number of caps. All these guys will take time, यार वो तो time लगने वाला. I I you know I actually like the fact that the coach doesn't care about that. Which means he seems like a guy who's not very happy. Uh, he's he's not too bothered about the short term gains, short term results. You know, a coach's thinking is, "I'm coming. I'm 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 coming. I ये वर्ल्ड कप क्वालिफायर्स आल्सो विल बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट ओनली आई थिंक ही नोस वी आर नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग इन द वर्ल्ड कप क्वालिफायर्स आई मीन अ विन हियर अ विन देयर बट देयर आल्सो द फोकस विल बी ऑन गेम प्ले ऑन हाउ यू हैंडल सर्टेन सिचुएशंस द फोकस विल बी ऑन द 2023 एशियन कप क्वालिफायर्स आई थिंक दैट इज वेरी रियली वांट्स टू पुट हिज प्लान्स इनटू फुल स्ट्रेट एंड मेक इट हैपन या व्हिच इज द सेम ना द क्वालिफिकेशन प्रोसेस फॉर द वर्ल्ड कप एज वेल एज द द नेक्स्ट एशियन कप इज द सेम प्रोसेस एंड एसेंशियली द ग्रुप दैट वी हैव I think the target has to be to get out of that group as among the top two teams. So to make it through to the final round of qualifying, mm. which will be from there to make it to the World Cup, I think currently for India is near impossible. But mm. but making it out of this group, uh, top two will give us a spot in the twenty twenty three Asian Cup, and that definitely has to be the target. So. actually like i'm not i'm also not and i've never been big on this whole results orientedness yeah. uh, i also agree and i think we all agree yeah, that the process is more important whether it's uh, the men's team or the indian women's team it's the processes that are more important to and and building that fan base so in that sense i think the coaches have got it right uh, because they're trying to play a style of football that fans enjoy playing for what it's worth losing 4-2 is better than losing 1-0 for what it's worth At least, uh, कुछ yeah, कुछ at least कुछ तो हो रहा है. But that said, after the first fifteen twenty minutes, like you said, where India were pretty good, right, creating something, uh, at least going yeah. forward, and before the opposition team had the chance to kind of figure out this idea of uh, winning the ball in the middle and then spraying it out to these pacey guys in front. Uh, after that, they shut us down completely. and the second half uh, it felt like nobody showed up whether it's i mean i thought sahel had a great game till not a great game but given that he was a bright spark for me uh, but other than sahel i feel like nobody turned up yesterday i mean the third goal that went through gurpreet's legs that there was very little power in the shot there was no no real angle on it it wasn't directed into the corner 
It was a, yeah. it was, it was just a low shot straight at him that went through his legs. I'm always like, I'm it's, it's as if, he, uh, as if, huh? Ha, yeah, full uh, on. I always find it uh, like really this this going between the legs thing for a goalkeeper is like. I mean, I understand that it's always something that you can critique and maybe it is an error, but I also find it a little bit harsh, yeah, because. No, no, it's one thing if you're putting the ball. Bhai, hum sab ne ball keeper ke pairon ke beech mein se dala hua hai. It's one. Sir, pair ke beech se khaya. Khaya hai na? So it's one thing. Ha. It's one thing when you are. Bilkul nahi. Or it's one thing when you look at the gap between the keeper's legs and then put the ball through there because he's coming out and he's got his legs spread or something. This guy is standing on the line, wide like, and the guy, the angle from which the second, the third goal. The, the third was a cross from the right, slid in, uh, finished. Which I think it was anyway. In the center. I think it was a third goal. Whichever goal it. Ha. So the the angle from where he's hitting the ball, the only way he should be able to beat the goalkeeper is at the far post. If he's hit a perfect shot right in the corner, right? Like this, like the strike you were talking about, the Swedish uh, striker hitting uh, yeah. from the other side. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That that should be the only goalkeeper, especially when your goalkeeper is experienced international that's, who's played. That's, that's yeah. So, I mean, a howler of a game yeah, for most of the guys, no? Yeah, bro, uh, I kind of agree with you, man. And uh, again, uh, going back to the same part, that's all part of the process. I think uh, there, the part of the process, there's something known as suffering, right? When you suffer as a team, uh, I'm telling you, man, all these things play a big part. Uh, you suffer as a team. Uh, the one good thing was that when you've played a four-man defence, in your four-man defence, three of them are out of position. Right? Because he is trying to find which player fits in where. Of course, Sandesh ka niggle didn't help. Anas ka niggle did not help. Pranoy Haldar's niggle did not help. Right? All three were pulled out, did not feature in this game because they had some minor niggles or something in the build-up. Right? Now, so you've got Gelot, who's a fullback by profession, playing centre-back in his very first game. You've got Adil Khan, who's still finding his feet, midfielder by, uh, by profession, still finding his feet as a stopper-back. And then you made Mandar Rao Desai, who, honestly speaking, we've never really spoken much about his defensive capabilities other than his work rate. You up and down, but defensive capabilities, my work rate is just one part of it, right? So, you had three guys of that four-man defence who were completely out of position. And then you had Mr. Raul Beke, who, to be fair, has not made the best of starts to his international career after all the hoo-ha and this and that was going on for that one year before the Asian Cup. And we were also part of that hoo-ha. But, but it was nice to see the… yeah. Anyway, so I guess one uh, talking about the defense, my my question to you is, we for many years this has been a concern, right? Uh, building from the back, composure, communication, all of these things which are critical to how a football team plays, we've always not been very good at, right? And now here is a coach coming in and. Like, I'm not trying to rush him or anything like that. He's trying to figure out who his players are and what his combinations are and what works best. But he has gone out and said that he wants to play a style of football that is attractive. Mm. And somehow, attractive football seems to be absolutely contradictory to playing solid defensively. Which, in my mind, again, doesn't fit. Maybe maybe it's because... That is being said to the media. Oh, well, I'll tell you about the coach. The way I've seen it, he knows how to handle the media. He knows how to get whatever press needs to be said because he understands it's an integral part of, uh, you know, being a part of the national team and, of course, trying to implement your plans because the people at the top who are, of course, uh, you know, signing on your checks and, then of course, making sure everything goes for you when you want it are very particular about the kind of PR that surrounds their team. And a part of that PR which was not fulfilled by Stephen Constantine, he understands exactly how to do it. So, one way, he will say that we have to play attacking football, we are liking the way we are playing and we are trying these things. But if you see five-man midfield, three in the middle, it's pretty evident that he wants to play with a solid defence. That is more important. Sir, because of your five-man midfield, Sunil Chetri is playing right up front. And that is a major issue for this Indian team going forward. The usage of Sunil Chetri. That's something I think we were talking about constantly on our blog also yesterday. That Sunil, and we've said this on a previous couple of shows also, that Sunil playing up front is a real waste because he likes to get on the ball and you're playing him as a... Yeah, but then how? what sort of a system do you adopt yeah. if you like a five-man midfield? You know, and also, where do you put him in? Also, what is the impact of this? I, I agree that you want to pack the centre of the pitch, but 
the five man midfield where two of your midfielders are chante and uh, udanta who may or may yeah, not ha who may or may not help on the defensive side of things hmm. right they haven't as opposed to a holy or a, even for that matter ashik hmm. of what what we saw of ashik uh, yeah, kurunian yeah. in at the asian cup their work rate willingness to help out and just uh, just staying switched on i mean there were periods of the game in the second half where you didn't see either wing yeah. the yeah. the boys were they were not there and also like i got to say udanta must be pretty disappointed because the one cross he hit right <laughs> chetri scuffed it, it and <laughs> sent it sent it to bombay from ahmedabad <laughs> Uh, and that was actually uh, yeah. that was a pretty. I mean, yeah, at that point, I didn't think that would be turn out to be a critical moment in the game. No, but three nil ha- or, or three yeah, one no. hat trick in the bag exactly. it would have wrapped the game up. And uh, suddenly, testimony, uh, testament to uh, how good Holi Charan Nazri was, and uh, how very different he was in approach to what you had from a Changte. Holi Charan Nazri's work rate can never be questioned, by He was up and down, up and down, always making sure there was no gap on his end. राइट सो उनके फुल बैक को भरपाया नहीं करना पड़ रहा है राइट होली चरण नाजरी वुड ऑलवेज बी फिटिंग इनटू दैट सिस्टम सो क्रेडिट टू स्टीफन कॉन्स्टेंटीन दैट ही फाउंड अ सिस्टम दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ कोऑपरेटेड हिज बेस्ट प्लेयर्स गोइंग फॉरवर्ड उदांता जेजे छेत्री एंड देन ऑफ कोर्स आशी केम इन टू इट समहाउ द अदर चांगटे इज कंप्लीटली द ऑपोजिट चांगटे गिव्स यू नथिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ वर्क रेट व्हेन कंपेयर टू होली चरण नाजरी एंड हिज डिफेंसिव कैपेबिलिटीज ही गिव्स यू पोजीशंस आउट वाइड but beyond that what he does after that position out wide usme bhi bahut abhi kaam bacha hai some flashes of decent stuff though like i mean uh, whatever good stuff did happen happened from the left wing so let's not take all the credit away from 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 that part um also he had a full back with him who doesn't play full back mandar rao so you know they winning also both of them i think yeah i mean for what is expected that the right would have done a better job considering both of them play for bangalore and right, have my like... point is aap aap left ka dekh rahe ho aage jaate hue kya kar rahe hain peeche jaate bhi to kaam hona na woh to nahi kar raha sir aapne do kaam karne na wahan pe so because aur overlap chalte rehta hai midfield full back ke beech mein woh combination ke beech mein woh aage gaya to main peeche raha and so on but mm-hmm. defensively to i think we were all over the shop yesterday i mean it was really uh... defensively you were all over also because your midfield was not closing down for pakistan yaar I think that's a, that's something like I mean we So here's a question to both of you uh was there sort of a lack of plan at half time and did they come out of the break sort of overconfident that ye to yaar victory is in the bag now we have to protect this lead and kind of they were shell shocked by the way Uzbekistan came that's point number 1 Tajikistan sorry the second question is If you look at the impact that the substitutes had on both sides, now sub subs are extremely important in a game when you're playing in a place like Ahmedabad, high levels of humidity, बारिश हो रही है, गर्मी का मौसम है, आप थके हुए हैं, आप high intensity game खेल रहे हैं, and very soon into the second half, we were back on parity, so the momentum is with the other side. All the more reason why your subs have to come in and make an impact. You look at the impact that the Tajik subs had, goals, assists, and you you look at our side where except for that. uh boy jerry's clearance of the of the line which would have been a fifth goal which actually the drive was non existent no, growlin had a chance huh? late in also ha wo to yeah, matlab was, was straight at yeah. the goalkeeper yaar matlab that was it was, was a chance but what, what did he do with the chances is, is the know, point know, yeah, yeah. and jerry also was extremely lucky because the tajik number 20 i don't know his name but he sort of very half heartedly bahut dheela usne mara shot Yeah. He had time. He had space. If he had waited for Jerry to slide fully, he could have chipped the ball in anywhere and finished it. Mm-hmm. But they are also young players getting used to it. And in the first half, we were really lucky that Tajikistan didn't do anything in 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 the box in front of goal. Otherwise, it could have been five, and six, sir, seven. Can I say something? This is supposedly the easiest team of the three. You have DPR Korea. You have Syria. Syria, who we all know well, they fight. DPR Korea, sir, is a. I would say DPR Korea is the strongest. team in this top 4 on this in this four yeah and they will be a lot more physical than what tajikistan was tajikistan to be honest wasn't that physical on the ball i don't know I about that i think no 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 i think later in the game they did start like i mean they were easy, i mean well i don't know no, how physical that's my point. Were... i'm i'm saying physicality ka matlab i'm not saying ki whether they're covering ground and closing spaces they were doing that and they were always there which is why whenever they would get the ball 
or whenever they would lose the ball it never seemed like india was breaking on a counter and you can you suddenly take them apart like that right yeah except but that one right in the beginning yeah except yeah. right at the beginning when udanta just just on sheer pace and and he got a Again, yeah, I mean, so that's early stages, right? Once they settled in, yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, they didn't leave. They didn't leave. They didn't leave. I think, like, again, like, I think to answer your question about whether the Indian team eased off or they went in overconfident in the second half, I don't think that's the case at all. I just think that in the second half, Tajikistan just put the chances away. They created a similar number of chances in the first half. They had one very clear opportunity in the first half when Narendra missed a header mm. which sort of skid off the surface or something and I don't know. They had three chances in the first yeah, half. I mean one very scored. like I mean absolutely that one should have been buried in. Yeah. That could have been 2-1 or 1-0 or whatever the score was at yeah. that time. So I I don't believe that but I do think that yeah the subs is like a thing because you would have expected that even at 2 all you would have either tried to close down the game or go out and win it out right yeah win it out right but there was nothing neither of those things yeah so i don't know man i don't know what you guys think but like trying players out and hoping to develop a system is one thing but going in with with what seems like no plan at all is a completely different thing and i i don't think that like the result is so unimportant that you can literally just do whatever you want See now we we have seen uh, so many so many people turning up to watch the match. Nobody wants to to see India India losing, and that's also with a team like Kazakhstan. So yes, we 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 know that Kovi is a new coach, and he is a, he's a very good coach. We have to give time, but but in football, uh, we, people will not. Um, uh, they 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 want to see India win. With so much of with so much support and hype, and we have, we have seen the fans, and they were not happy. Yeah, but even four to losing, at least the Ahmedabad fans, I think that they were supporting till then, thinking that yeah. this India have done well in the recent uh, pass in the recent month or years, and so now the, in second match, they, this will be a tough match for India, and uh, they have to the players have to take the pressure. I think as yes, I would sort of agree with Renidi here, wherein like uh, yes, it's true that this is a process and we should not be results oriented. But at a time when like people are starting to watch football, paying interest in the Indian team, and <coughs> there's crowds coming in, they do want to see the team win. It does make a difference. I mean, I don't, I don't know uh, if necessarily uh, that's true. It, like the, the same suffering that Pandit was talking about earlier. कितने साल से हम सफर कर रहे हैं भाई क्लब्स को हम सफर कर रहे हैं बट देयर इज न्यू फैंस को कोई लेना देना नहीं है कि आप यहां पे अगर आप अपने एशियन क्वालीफायर से पहले सारे मैच हारे मेरे को कोई लेना देना नहीं है अगर आपने एशियन क्वालीफायर में अपनी सॉलिड टीम बनाई है और आप 2023 के लिए पहुंच रहे हो देन इफ दैट मींस द प्रोसेस इज पार्ट ऑफ इट वेयर यू विल ऑफ कोर्स सिर्फ ऑफ कोर्स यू विल नॉट बी लूजिंग ऑल योर गेम्स टू गेट टू द एशियन कप क्वालीफायर ही नोस दैट सो ही इज गिवन हिमसेल्फ अ विंडो टू प्रोसीड टू द एंड ऑफ द ईयर इंटर कॉन्टिनेंटल कप एंड टू हिज लक And which is great for Indian fans that we got a solid four teams yeah. in the continental cup this time. It's not like last mm-hmm. times when New Zealand was a little fuzzy, lagged it. Then which was the other two teams that were there. So, By the way, uh, one of those New Zealand guys, uh, the Indian born guy, what is it? Sir Singh. He's gone off to Bayern. Ah, uh, playing for Bayern reserves, huh? Yes. So maybe they were not so fuzzy after all. Anyway, uh, that's a digression. Um, I was going to ask you. So actually, sir. So intercontinental cup essentially it's a we're using FIFA win, windows. It's a friendly tournament. So completely agree that in when we play friendlies, we should not care about the results. The results should matter when the consequence of the game matters, right? Hmm. Like if you are playing World yeah. Cup final, then obviously the result makes a difference. You are happy to win someone or you are going to win. You are going to win. 100 percent guaranteed. And the US showed this absolutely clearly through the through the women's World Cup, man. that like results do matter and performance matters as much so uh, even though yesterday they were like tobin heath was a bit like yeah, <laughs> you were talking about players pulling their socks up oh yeah main bahut zyada digress kar jata hu yaar sorry wapas coming back to the point uh, pulling their socks up yeah yeah last <laughs> last little bit where do we go from here how do we get better uh, ready starting with you man do you think I think this is something again. I, I'm I'm just bringing up things that just bringing out questions from what Steemat said in his post-match presser. He said that players need to play a lot more. Volume of matches has has to be much bigger for them to get better. Do you think some of the young players, some of the players who are 
perhaps hitting their early 20s it's time maybe for some of them to go abroad and get some experience try and look for clubs abroad get a little bit more in terms of game iq uh, as Timur is a coach we have we have coach in highest level i'm saying we need to play more games uh, as as a team more more than going individual go abroad i think we should try and play as much uh, games as possible so that we as a team can gel we we saw that yesterday uh, other than uh, playing from the back we were, we we couldn't gel enough uh, we we couldn't tack enough uh, or we couldn't press high enough uh, at the final third so this will only improve uh, uh, by playing many more matches together and we have seen that sahal a player like sahal amarjit they have done well uh, in last two three games but they have to continue performing uh, or give the same level of the match uh, in every single match which they couldn't do yesterday but i am sure uh, they will should they will be able to do to better than, than the yesterday's match so udanta singh why i feel he should go abroad one of the players who needs to go abroad because yahan pe na wo thoda ab mere ko thoda wo how do i put it yaar and i might be wrong थोड़ा वो कंफर्ट फैक्टर दिख रहा है मुझे कि मतलब वो लगा हुआ है उदानता सिंह है द बिग प्लेयर है पेस है पर वो एंड रिजल्ट आ ही नहीं रहा है यार बहुत इनकंसिस्टेंट है वो एंड रिजल्ट आईएसएल में आप थोड़ा कर लेते हो सर आईएसएल का लेवल इज नॉट दैट ग्रेट व्हेन कंपेयर टू इंटरनेशनल फुटबॉल राइट सो आप मतलब यू नीड टू गो इन स्पेस यू नीड टू गो इन एनवायरमेंट वे यू आर हेल्ड अकाउंटेबल फॉर ऑल द स्पील दैट यू डूइंग अप फ्रंट वहां जाके जब आपको ना थोड़े कोड़े पड़ेंगे और आपको असली में पता पता चलेगा कि ये क्या हो रहे हो क्या कर रहे हो कि यू बिन ड्रॉप एंड यू बिन पुट ऑन द बेंच बिकॉज यू नॉट बीइंग एबल टू एग्जीक्यूट अक्रॉस सो व्हेन यू गो इन दैट हाई एनवायरनमेंट एंड एवरीवन एल्स अराउंड यू इज डूइंग इट यू एज अ रिजल्ट पिक इट अप दैट कंसिस्टेंसी यू नो दैट ब्रूटल कंसिस्टेंसी दैट इज नीडेड टू सीड इन इंटरनेशनल फुटबॉल व्हाई इज मेसी सो गुड बिकॉज़ ऑफ हिज ब्रूटल कंसिस्टेंसी ब्रो यू गिव हिम एन इंच एंड ही विल ऑलवेज फाइंड द कॉर्नर ऑफ द गोल समथिंग ऑफ द अदर यू नो people don't say messi is great because wo aise aise karta hai or something it's, it's clinical how clinical he is yaar and chetri is the best example for any of the young players in the squad i mean he went abroad for two stints both stints he was fairly aware before going that he would not get much playing time if at all he got playing time it would be on the basis of what he did over there not on the basis of his reputation not on the basis of his being india uh, yeah. india india star at that point or or anything like that and he came back from each of those stints at Kansas City and at uh, Sporting a completely physically changed player mentally changed player i mean his, his decision making from that level on has just been somewhere else i think yeah. the I just the that. physical bit is actually even if that changes that's also in itself See, like a big thing i don't know man like, like not in terms of like going to the gym and like lifting yeah, yeah, but no. just being able to like judge situations where you may have to get physical where you will get a physical like what i mean you will challenge your yeah, challenge and encountering that and yeah. just that decision so making. so before chetri went abroad training methods and training systems in india were very different mm-hmm. right that has changed dramatically as we have said many times with the coming of the isl and all these top level trainers and coaches and all that so the physical training element i think the fitness element today indian players don't lack so much like udanta knows when he's taking on a defender that he probably has the pace to take him on sheer pace yeah. right but what he does once he's taken the defender like in that chance that we're talking about he's first he's cut it inside right but his second touch has then taken him back out yeah now i don't know whether that was a bad touch or he just couldn't decide whether I he wanted to bang on down and put in a cross or go for goal on his own in the end he end, he did neither in either like even if it was even if it was a deliberate touch it was incorrect like because you already made indecision you've already been indecisive yeah, no i mean he, he saw chetri banging down the middle right hmm. so so automatically he is now thinking acha now do i go for goal or do i play yeah. chetri in the idea is that chetri is there to draw that man hmm. so that udanta has continues to have the free run at goal right that's at least what chetri is trying to do so one of the two players will get free when you reach the box यहां पे आपने कुछ नहीं किया दोनों सो दिस दिस इज वेयर आई जस्ट फील सो आई जस्ट फील बारिंग द टेक्निकलिटीज ये ना थोड़ा यहां पे हो गया कि बेंगलुरु में है उदानता सिंह है बेस्ट वो है तो थोड़ा आप जिन डिफेंडर्स को फेस कर रहे हो वो भी वो सोच के आ रहे हैं तो वो भी आपको दो कदम पीछे से मतलब मार कर रहे हैं आपको स्पेस दे रहे हैं बॉल पे क्योंकि आपको पता है आपके पास स्पेस है पर 
अगर आप अपने आप को एक एनवायरनमेंट में डालोगे नहीं आप तेईस साल के हो सर यूर ट्वेंटी थ्री ईयर्स ओल्ड यू नीड टू पुट योर सेल्फ इन एन एनवायरमेंट वे यूर सराउंडेड बाय बेटर लेवल प्लेयर्स वे आर नॉट सराउंडेड बाय प्लेयर्स हु आर गिविंग यू दैट स्पेस एंड फ्रीडम बिकॉज ऑफ योर रेप्यूटेशन वे दे डोंट गिव अ शेट अबाउट योर रेप्यूटेशन एंड एज सुन एज यू गेट द बॉल वन गाय इज कमिंग एट यू विद फ्लाइंग एल्बो विद अ स्लाइडिंग टैकल एंड इफ यू मेक वन और टू बैड क्रॉसेज योर टेन मेम्बर्स बिहाइंड यू आर राइलिंग यू अप एंड गिविंग इट टू यू रो यू नीड टू पुट योर सेल्फ दैट अनकम्फर्टेबल सिचुएशन और अब नहीं करेगा तो कब करेगा यार नहीं तो बैठे रहो वहाँ पे वो कंफर्ट लेवल में यू you नो know, कि जी काम हो रहा है जी वहाँ पे पैसे आ रहे हैं क्लब है मेहनत कर रहे हो इतना इट्स गुड इनफ फॉर इंटर इंडिया लेवल आईएसएल में आप मतलब आप शाइन कर रहे हो पर जब इंटरनेशनल बारी आती है तो सर फिर आप मतलब यू ओनली सी यू इन पैचेज सो थाईलैंड गेम सेकेंड हाफ वी सो हिम यू नो उसके बाद आपने उस पूरे टूर्नामेंट में कितने आपने वो अच्छे पियर्सिंग क्रॉसेस देखे हैं या बॉल्स देखे हैं and it's the same with the uh, ahmedabad as well so someone needs to advise this kid and needs to go he needs to go and start trying for clubs abroad i don't know if he's doing it maybe i'm wrong he's already trying it but ye matlab i'm sorry with all due respect to bengaluru fans he needs to move out for the betterment of his game to go to another level in international football we'll wrap this up for now we'll be back with a live blog of course of the india versus dpr korea north korea game on july the 13th hopefully uh, the team will gel a little better together and be able to do better in that game uh, of course we'll be following the intercontinental cup and all the other developments in indian football very closely thanks for watching guys thank you all for your time see you next week